people of Liverpool, welcome to the city of Liverpool. We come here today sharing the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And we want to encourage you today to look around the world, look at the times we are living in. Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, and also the visible image of God the Father is coming back at a time that people are not even thinking about. I want to encourage you today to come and get to know this wonderful Saviour. Hallelujah. Jesus commanded his followers to go out and to preach the message of salvation. So that's why I've come out today here in Liverpool as the Lord has directed me to preach this wonderful message to you today. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. Yes. God is Jesus. Jesus is God. The angels cried and bowed down before his throne and they cried, Holy, holy, holy Lord God Almighty. Glory to God. I have some beautiful Jehovah friends over here. I'm always bumping into these lovely Jehovah witnesses. God bless you all. How are you doing today? Jesus loves you all so much, friends. I want to encourage you to search the scriptures and you're going to find that Jesus is God. Hello, how are you? God bless you. God bless you. Good timing. I've come to fill in your shift, I think. <laughs> you have a good day. To remember that Jesus is God and he loves you and he died for you. And he's coming back. Friends, I want to encourage you all to seek the truth. Seek Jesus while he may be found. Because you must be born again if you wish to enter the kingdom of heaven. There's no other way that you can be saved. Jesus is the only saviour. He's the only God who died for you. I want to encourage you, don't follow the watchtower. Follow Jesus. The watchtower didn't shed its blood for your sins. But Jesus shed his blood for your sins, friends. Hallelujah. He's so worthy. He's so holy. He's so majestic. He's so mighty. He's so powerful. He's so glorious. He's soon coming king. He's soon coming redeemer. His name is Jesus. Hallelujah. And friends, the Bible says that every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord. To the glory of God the Father. If you have not yet made Jesus your Lord, I want to encourage you today to come to him while he, while, while he is near. While he may be found, while grace, while he's still offering you grace, very, very soon, the disp this dispensation of grace will end. Hallelujah. Once Jesus comes to take home his own, that's when the door of grace is closed. Hallelujah. Come and get to know this wonderful Saviour, this beautiful King, this beautiful Redeemer. He loves you all so much and He died for your sins, friends. And today He's knocking on the door of your heart and He's saying, I love you, my children. I died for you, my children. See, there's no other way you can be saved. Jesus is the only way. And, and if you reject or ignore him, then your place will be the lake of fire, my friends. Come and get to know Jesus, your Savior, your King, your Lord. He loves you. And today, as I preach this message, 
Jesus is knocking on the door of your heart. He's offering you a free gift today. This wonderful gift of salvation does not cost anything, friend. It's free. Hallelujah. So I want to encourage you today, if you've not made Jesus your Lord and your Saviour, today is the day. Young man, Jesus loves you. Do you believe me? Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. You, you, you came at the right time. Maybe you need to hear this message. You're so precious to Jesus. It doesn't matter what you've done in your life. It doesn't matter what you've been through. The King of Kings and the Lord of Lords loves you so, so much, my friend, that even if you were the only one that that was on the face of the earth, he would have still come down to die for your sins. You're Orthodox. Greek Orthodox? Yes? Praise God. So you follow the Orthodox religion, yeah? The most important thing you need is to become born again. Jesus wants your heart. You have to pray and say, Jesus, come in my heart. Jesus, forgive me my sins. Don't pray to Jesus' mother. That's not biblical, brother. You, you pray to, to Mary, yeah? Do you pray to Jesus? But you pray to Mary also. Do you read the Bible? You have to, if you read the Bible, Jesus never ever said, pray to my mother or worship my mother. Jesus is the only one who died for you, brother. He's the only Savior. Hallelujah. Why? If you think about it, it, it makes perfect sense. Why different God's religion? Pardon? Why different? I can't hear you, brother. Orthodox, Catholic, why different? I'm not Catholic. I'm Christian. I'm born again Christian. Why, why different? Why? I'll tell you why it's different. Yes. So, I don't pray. Jesus is one. Jesus is one, but yes. I don't pray to Jesus', Jesus mother. Je Jesus one. is the only one you should pray to. Jesus is the only Savior. And if you read Bible, Jesus said that He is the way and the truth and the life. And that no one can come to God the Father except they come through to Him. Jesus said, that there's no other way. And he spoke against idol worship. It's, it becomes idol worship and idolatry when you make something else to be your God. Mary is not your God. Mary is the mother of Jesus, but she's not your God. And I say this to you today because, you know, Jesus loves you. And he wants your heart and you must be born again. And so I want to encourage you. Have you ever said, Jesus, come in my heart? Yeah. Read the Bible every day, brother. If you read the Bible, you will see, we always have to follow Jesus' words. Jesus never ever said, bow down to my mother or kiss the statues or, or 